Hello everyone, I hope all of you will be doing well. In this video, we are going to design a simply supported RC beam that is subjected to a duodial of 2.2 caps per feet. Uh, the length of the beam is 20 feet and with the material properties of F'C uh, 3ksi, Fy equals to 60ksi and the zoomed value of T equals to 15.5 inches. So the design of assembly supported is quite straightforward and doesn't involve so much complex calculations. So the first step for designing assembly supported would be, um, um, as you can note, you can also note the steps and, and use it for uh, solving your own examples. So the first step would be step number one. Step number one would be to size selection size selection so according to ACI the H minimum for a simply supported beam equals to L upon 18 which we have the L as 20 feet we will multiply by 12 in order to convert it to inches uh, divided by 18 which equals to 13.33 inches now any uh, cross section uh, any uh, cross section depth greater than this would satisfy our uh, h minimum requirement <coughs> but we will assume the value of h minimum as 18 inches h equals to 18 inches and we will assume the value of uh, where of the cross section to be 12 inches so we will highlight these two so they are going to need them so the second step would be step number two since we have the ultimate load w so we are going to directly calculate the uh, moment due to this load so step number two would be uh, moment calculation moment calculation or mu mu the ultimate moment so uh, for a simply supported beam we have the equation for its ultimate moment uh, mu equals to w u l square divided upon 8 so as you would know that for a simply supported beam the maximum moment occurs at its uh, mid depth uh, that is a positive moment as well and at both of the supports since they uh, rotate and uh, allow the beam to rotate so the moments are going to be is zero at both of these two supports so now putting in the values w u is 2.2 multiplied by 20 squared divided upon 8 so the value of moment or ultimate moment or mu which we will write what the indication is mu positive equals to 110 cap feet 110 cap feet we are going to highlight these values because we are going to use these values throughout the procedure so let me shift these values to here this is unwanted let me clean it and we will shift these two values as well to here so I will clean this in order to have space for writing the remaining steps so step number three step number three would be step number three would be calculating the calculating the steel the reinforcement the reinforcement or a s positive in this case so for determining a s we have the equation a s equals to a s positive equals to m u positive divided upon phi into f y into d minus a upon 2 now for a ductile cross section as you know that for ductile cross section we have the value of phi s 0.9 we have already the value of uh, d as 
and now the value of a uh, could be determined by either trial method which we will assume a value for our compression depth and then we will determine the value of a and for each a we will calculate the amount of reinforcement and then we will recalculate a and uh, by doing so we will adjust uh, the uh, value of a and the value of uh, steel reinforcement and the second method is to directly use the equation for determining a which is quite straightforward uh, now the equation for a equals to d minus square root of d squared minus 2.614 mu divided upon f prime c b so now for this uh, example we are going to directly use this equation because it is quite straightforward and give the uh, exact value of a so now a equals to 15.5 we have the value of s 15.5 minus square root of 15.5 squared minus and remember that this uh, value of mu needs to be in, in inches right uh, and kip inches so 15.5 squared minus 2.614 multiplied into uh, 110 multiplied into 12 because the uh, denominator uh, is in this case in inches so 3 multiplied by 12 so the value of A would be 3.48 inches. By doing the calculations, we are going to get the value of A to be 3.48 inches. So we will highlight this as well and shift it to this side. Okay, let me clean this step as well to have space for further steps. I'm sorry, I'm not going to clean the whole step because we're still in the third step. So now the value of a is the equation for a is was a is positive equals to mu. Mu we have mu 110 into 12 divided upon 5. We had the value of 5 0 0.9 multiplied by 60. Fy. Fy was 60 multiplied by 60 multiplied by we had the value of d as 15.5 minus we have the value of a uh, as 3.48 divided upon 2 so now the value of a is positive equals to be 1.78 square inch this is the value of our steel reinforcement So now let's check the let's uh, choose the bar uh, diameter for this reinforcement amount. So we can see the number of bars equals to a s total reinforcement divided by the reinforcement of a single uh, bar uh, the area of a single bar so we will assume a number seven bar number seven so it equals to a is equals to uh, 1.78 divided upon let's calculate the area of number seven bar The area of a uh, number 7 bar is 0 0.7 inch squared. So, in this case, we are going to get. I'm sorry, it is not number 7, but not 0 0.7, but the area of each number 7 bar equals to 0 0.6 square inch. So now, what? So. By doing the calculation, we are going to get 2.97 bars, which is almost 3 bars. So, provide 3 number 7 bars.
screen number seven bars we're going to highlight this as well because this is the final result and based on this we are going to draw our cross section no detailing So the final step would be detailing of the step number four. Detailing of the cross section. Detailing of the cross section. So let's draw the cross section. We have the sorry. I'm sorry. It's As the height is 18 inches, it would be quite unrealistic because it looked square. So now this is the beam cross section, and we will draw the at steel reinforcement. We had uh, three number seven bars, so we will draw three bars. It's a bit messy, but it's just for illustration purposes, as you know. Now we had H equals to 18 inches and B equal to 12 inches. So these are three number seven bars. So this is the final uh, cross section, and I hope you have learned. Uh, how to design a simply supported RCP it is quite uh, easy and straightforward so please uh, subscribe uh, my channel uh, for further uh, videos thank you so much